Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about a browser with a particular history, Falcon. If you're KDE users, you've probably heard of it as the official browser of the desktop environment. But the question is, is it really worth using in 2025? I'm always looking for homogeneous interfaces that integrate well with my operating system. Using Firefox on KDE, let's be honest, is, well, let me put it this way, it's painful. It's not Firefox's fault, mind you, but just the general state of things. The integration of any browser not written in Qt on KDE is never perfect, even when mitigated by the Plasma integration plugin and various installable themes. So I told myself, there's Falcon, the browser managed by the KDE community that integrates perfectly with the desktop. With sparkling eyes, I opened the package manager and installed Falcon. But reality was complicated. Before diving in, Let's take a step back. Falcon has an interesting history that explains many of its current characteristics. The project began as a research experiment in 2010. The first version was written in Python using PyQtoot. This alone tells you it was born as an educational project rather than a serious alternative to mainstream browsers. In 2011, it was completely rewritten in C++, and this is where the real story begins. At the time, it was called Quupzilla and had an ambitious goal to create a portable browser that would integrate perfectly with different desktop environments. The turning point came in 2016 with version 2.0 when they abandoned Qt WebKit to switch to Qt Web Engine, which is basically a wrapper around Chromium's core. So, ironically, Falcon uses the same rendering technology as Google Chrome, but packaged in Qt. In 2017, the project was officially adopted by KDE and renamed Falcon in 2018. From that moment, it became the reference browser for the KDE ecosystem. I loved Conqueror, sure. Replacing it is quite an arduous task, but I realized that in its technical structure it was now outdated. The concept of browser and file manager together no longer works. Users, and not only them, are looking for something specific. Being a perfect file manager and a good browser might have been possible 15 years ago, but not today. At launch, the first thing that strikes you is that Falcon's interface takes a lot from Firefox. It literally looks like Firefox dressed in Qt. So much so that I was tempted to see if it wasn't actually based on Firefox, but then I did my research and understood that the developers chose a conservative line for the design. In a sense, it's a sensible choice. Putting the user at ease by making them find an environment identical to Firefox in many ways, but one that's fast, secure, and above all perfectly integrated into KDE. And here I have to say that the integration really works. Falcon perfectly follows Plasma themes, integrates with system notifications, and has that sense of belonging to the desktop that Firefox will never have on KDE. Theme customization is good, though not excellent. There are several themes available and the possibility to create custom ones, although the process isn't as immediate as on other browsers. One thing I really liked is how the browser's control center is built, called Preferences. Here's an example of how functions, even when there are many, should be presented and what KDE system settings should learn. The menus are logical, linear, well-made. Even having many settings available, they still make them usable. There are clear sections for browsing, theming, privacy and security, extensions. For extensions, well, there are few to tell the truth, but the essential ones are more or less all present. Adblock, password management, some developer tools. Don't expect the ecosystem of Firefox or Chrome, but for basic use, it's fine. But now let's move on to the criticisms and what I think really prevents the spread of this browser. We're moving quickly towards vertical tabs. All browsers are moving in this direction. Edge, Firefox, even niche browsers like Zenbase, everything on vertical tabs and tab groups. Modern and efficient browsers are all moving towards more harmonious, attractive interfaces with modern colorations and rounded edges. Well, Falcon doesn't have all this in terms of design. I understand it's a small project and you couldn't expect too much, but it gives too much the sense of something old, outdated, poorly harmonized, even though it's perfectly integrated with KDE. The address bar, together with the tab bar, takes up 10% of the space, if not more. And even worse, when you activate vertical tabs, it's difficult to find the option to remove the horizontal bar display. The tabs are organized fine, sure, 
but implementing an overlay option and being able to group them would be the perfect optimization. But here's the brutal news. Falcon supports a native and limited extension system, written in C++ Q2. So to modify an extension, I have to recompile it and partially rewrite it, something I absolutely don't want to do. The extension system is limited and customization too. Forget about Mozilla's about, config, or customizable user configuration files. Understandable for a small project, but limiting for advanced users. Now let's look at the browsing experience. And here too, there are some shadows. Even though it's proposed as a fast and lightweight browser, the differences with Firefox are minimal, almost imperceptible. I admit it's slightly lighter than Mozilla's browser, but we're talking about small margins. Page scrolling is slower. You can see it's less immediate and responsive. It's not dramatic, but it's noticeable, especially if you come from more optimized browsers. RAM consumption is indeed lower than Firefox, but don't expect miracles. With 10 to 15 tabs open, the difference becomes less significant. So Falcon, but not quite. This is my final verdict. It's a half successful attempt. They made a cute browser that integrates perfectly into KDE, but it seems to have remained 15 years ago when there was Conqueror. Maybe it would have been better to continue working on Conqueror rather than Falcon, although I understand that Falcon was born as a simple experiment and not directly within KDE. And I perfectly understand that creating a cutting edge browser requires enormous resources and time that a single developer or small group of developers don't have. So I still give my compliments to the development team because Falcon remains a well-made browser. And if they were to get their hands dirty in a big way by creating a more complete extension suite with all the structural limitations involved and refining the interface, making it even more plasma-centric, well, that would be excellent work. For KDE users looking for perfect integration, alternatives are limited. Qt browser, more modern but minimal Vim-style interface, Firefox with KDE themes, acceptable compromise with some sacrifice in integration, Chromium with themes similar to Firefox, but with Google Base. The truth is that in 2025, if you want a modern, fast browser with updated features, you'll probably have to accept some compromise on desktop integration. Falcon remains a valid choice for those who put KDE integration above everything else, but don't expect the cutting-edge experience you find elsewhere. In short, for normal users who don't require anything exceptional from their browser and make modest use of it, I think it's perfect. The big limitation is extensions. In my case, without some of them, my browsing experience is penalized, and therefore I know that Falcon cannot replace Zen or Firefox for now. Another handicap that I find important from an ideological point of view is the use of Chrome's engine. We need alternatives, and it was precisely from KDE that one of the most famous web engines was born, used plundered by Apple itself for Safari. Falcon, yes, but not quite. Thanks for watching.